haven't did it <coughs> video for a while, I guess. Uh, we'll do a, a little update. It's Saturday, oh, <coughs> August tenth or something. Did you see the barns are a little shinier. Uh, the landlord had them painted this week, this past week, so they're back to being red. Uh, goats are meandering around. <clears throat> we did get uh, have expanded our goat herd uh, over the last. Um, it's gonna be shaky again. Last two weeks or so. We'll look at them future. Um, go feed uh, Bronco, our <clears throat> bottle calf. He's ready to ready to roll. Um, we're gonna start making second cutting grass hay this week or so. Uh, we have some custom baling jobs to do. Uh, kind of before that, <clears throat> so. We'll see how it goes and that state fair is come is going on right now or it's coming up uh when i usually go uh next week so we'll just see how things play out uh <clears throat> the corn is other than where the goats have ate uh which is right right there just on the other side of those uh a-frames uh it's looking really good uh you should go out there and look at it we got sorghum sedan grass uh, sprayed the other day, a couple days ago, probably a week ago now. I think it was last weekend. We'll go up there and look at that. The next video, we'll look at our crops. Uh, our, we have some uh, plans to maybe seed some fall alfalfa, uh, Roundup Ready stuff, uh, but uh, we'll see how that plays out. Yeah, so the barns are shiny red now. I need to put my windows back in. I took them out so they wouldn't get painted over. These guys did a really good job. There's no overspray. As you can see, we've got a bunch of cement bunks out here. I pulled them off of a yard because we needed to we need to rebuild stuff fences. And then I need to uh rob down here so we can power wash them out <coughs> and clean all the crap out of them. And this one we were using for a um, for a just as a bunk in in the pen, and as you can see, it's just full of crap. But so these have been sitting out for a while. We just moved them down here to get them cleaned up. Otherwise, uh, kind of same old, same old around here. We get Bronco fed and then probably go check some cows today and then probably meander out through our crops and see what they look like. But anyway, I guess um, somebody brought to my attention, uh, I'm over 3,000 subscribers now, so thank you. Uh, I guess it, whoever watches, uh, thanks for watching. Um, I guess to some point, it doesn't matter how many subscribers you have, it's whoever uh, watches your videos. And, so I just appreciate uh, whoever watches them, whether it's uh, one person or 3,000. So uh, thank you guys. And we'll keep trying to make videos and stuff. And if you guys got something you want to see, uh, let me know. <clears throat> then we'll try to do something because it does get old. Uh, just doing the same thing over and over and over. As in mowing hay, baling hay. Because it's the same field, it's the same, it's the same thing. And we go the same way around every time. So it's they're all cut in the system so um but if there's something you all want to see uh, let me know I, I know somebody uh likes the goat updates and the goat stuff so we'll keep throwing them in uh somebody did mention about uh what we feed uh bottle calves or stuff uh we can do that uh work on that uh sometime soon but, uh, let me know when uh, i keep them all intact in my mind and, and stuff um the doits uh is still uh we haven't got around to doing Hey, more to it. Uh, need a new battery, which uh, we'll get to that sometime. But um, anyway, any ideas you have, uh, let me know, and we might do them. So, so thanks for watching. Um, that's Bronco, and he needs his 
once a day feeding of um, bucket of milk and then he eats uh, feed with the goats and then he goes out and grazes. So anyway, uh, thanks again and we'll catch you guys next time.